in the last class we were we started uh, one looking at one dimensional flow I think we have derived the equations right. So the equation that we got this is a one dimensional we are just write one dimensional Euler's equation. Q dou t is dou e dou x equals 0. If you want that in uh, index notation, okay, just for so that would be dou q i dou t plus dou e i dou x equals 0. We saw that q had components rho, rho u, rho e t. E had components rho u squared rho u squared plus p rho e t plus p times u rho u rho u squared plus p thank you yeah <coughs> okay is that fine this is what we have got and we basically said we do not like the fact that this equation looks a little different from the wave equation that we were looking at. So we wrote it in terms of the flux Jacobian. So if this is a conservative form, we wrote the non-conservative form which is dou q dou t plus a dou q dou x equals 0, right. It is you will see it is one of the many possible non-conservative forms. It is not the typical non-conservative form because the q is still in the so called conservative variables is that fine the q is still in so called conservative variables okay the equivalent of that in component notation so what is a a is dou e dou q right the equivalent of that in component notation would be dou q i dou t plus A i j dou q j dou x equals 0 okay is that fine. There is of course I mean it is a matrix matrix equation so there is a summation over j is that fine everyone A i j clearly is dou e i dou q j that is basically a i j. I am just writing it in this component form because we need to we need to find out is it possible for us to evaluate whether it is possible for us to evaluate to find what is a. So implicit in this implicit in this definition of the flux Jacobian sort of an assertion that E is a function of Q right that I can write E as a function of Q. So I should be able to write this E as a function of Q okay. So E1 is obvious E1 is obvious we look at E2 and E3 right but before I start before I start before I start right writing E as a function of Q right I want to give you motivation as to why you should why you should always make sure that you write this properly right in terms of Q1, Q2, Q3 and so on. What is see this so this is like a gradient right the derivative it has derivatives of derivatives of the first component with the first component first component second and so on right. So what is dou rho u dou rho? And that is why you have to be careful right that is why you have to be very careful that is why you have to be very careful how you write this out okay fine right I do not want you to hesitate to answer because I set you up okay but you should also you, 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 so dou rho u dou rho 
the con the reason why that question is not properly posed you have to, that is I am differentiating with respect to these do rho u do rho these two kept constant do rho u do rho rho u kept constant so rho u is a constant so do rho u do rho is 0 you see what I am saying so you have to be very careful if you try to do it directly here you will make mistakes I also make mistakes I want to protect myself from myself so I am very careful so I will write E1 as what is E1 okay let me write so Q1 therefore is rho Q2 is rho u Q3 is rho et what I am suggesting to you is always write it in terms of Q1, Q2, Q3 that way you will not make mistakes okay E1 is Q2 E2 is Q2 squared by Q1 plus a P we have to figure out right so that we have to figure out this P we will have to pay attention to that P and E3 is Q3 plus P times Q2 by Q1 you understand so the only 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 issue is how do we find p for that we will have to go back to the original definition of we will have to go to go back to the original definition of e total okay because that is the relationship that we had what did we have we had e total is e plus one half u squared right or rho e total whichever way and E was this is CVT which equals through equation of state or RT by gamma minus 1 I substituted for CV which equals P by rho times gamma minus 1 okay is that fine so you go back here E total or rho E total is P by gamma minus 1 plus 1 half rho U square. This tells me that P is rho E total minus 1 half rho u squared times gamma minus 1 fine okay which tells me this is q3 minus 1 half q2 squared by q1 into gamma minus 1 am I making sense so we have actually written we have written now we managed to write e as a function of q and it is actually possible for you to find do e do q right so the first first term for example therefore uh, do e1 do q1 is 0 right do e2 I will do the easy ones I will leave the others for you right do e2 I will write it out but I would suggest that you verify you check that I have not made any mistakes do e2 by do q1 is that what I want to do that is not what I want to do as I said I am going to do the easy ones do E1 by do Q2 equals 1 do E1 by do Q3 I am keeping the row a constant I'm keeping the row a constant and I am changing the column okay yeah do e1 do q3 is 0 fine you can do the same thing now so you say uh, do e2 do q2 as I said there is no sense me doing it I have a little cheat sheet again so I am going to take my sheet out I am going to write it out right so that I do not 
I do not want to make mistakes here. So I will start with the uh, bottom row because that is the largest. That is the bottom row first element. That is the second element, that is the last element of the bottom row, okay. Then I have one half gamma minus 3 times u, 3 minus gamma, oops, so I wrote the bottom row first, and gamma minus 1. And the first entry, of course, is 0, 1, 0. That is the matrix A. Is that fine, everyone? You should check. You should check. You should make sure that you are able to do at least a few of these, right? You should check. And I assure you that if you do not write it in terms of Q1, Q2, Q3, you will make mistakes, right? You will make mistakes. I have made mistakes every time I try. So it is a little difficult to keep track of what is happening, right? Okay. So we are back. We are back to the original question that though I have managed to write the equation as dou q dou t plus a dou q dou x equals 0, a is a very, uh, the first row is okay but it is a pretty complicated expression and the system of equations is still coupled. So though it resembles our linear wave equation, it is nothing like our linear wave equation. Okay, right. In fact, I would think that if you are done linear wave equation, I'd get three decoupled wave equations, something of that sort. That's what I want. So maybe it was just a poor choice of variables, right? We wrote the conservation equations, and as a consequence of our densities, of the quantities that were conserved, right? As a consequence of our densities, we picked Q, which is rho, rho u, rho e t. Right, it was it was a choice forced upon us in a sense by the physics of the problem. Maybe if you choose a different set of variables, we'll get an equation that is more amenable to solution. After all, I'm writing it in a non-conservative form, and if you think think back, then standard non-conservative variables form either you use rho u and temperature, or you use rho u and pressure, or something of that sort. Right, you're interested in pressure. You are not really interest, interested very often in rho e t. You would like to know the pressure distribution. See, I am trying to motivate motivate why I want to do a change of variables. So you are interested in the density. You may interest, be interested in the speed. You may not be really interested in the momentum density at a point. You may be interested in the speed of flow at a point, right? So it is possible that we should therefore choose a Q tilde which is rho u p instead of Instead of rho, rho u, rho e t, okay, right. So I'll try to de derive this now from our governing equations. I'll try to derive the equations in terms of this, which means that I'm going to do a little uh, arduous but not too arduous calculus, expand out the terms so that I can get equations, isolate equations that are derivatives, isolate the terms in the equation so that the derivatives are in terms of rho u and t. Is that okay? Fine. So just bear with me. We'll try to go through this quickly. So conservation of mass. First equation here, dou rho dou t, it is not bad, bad start, plus dou by dou x of rho u equals 0. So I can write that as dou rho dou t plus rho dou u dou x plus u dou rho dou x equals 0. Is that fine? Okay. So we have one equation, we need to get the other two equations. For this I will go back maybe to the front board. So we will retain this part to write all the equations, we will go back to the beginning.
what is the momentum equation dou rho u dou t plus dou by dou x of rho u squared plus p equals 0 expand that out rho dou u dou t plus u dou rho dou t plus u dou rho u dou x plus rho u dou u dou x you know why I did it that way I did it that way because I see I have a u dou rho dou t here and in my mind I am already thinking u dou rho u dou x or conservation of mass right okay in anticipation of that I have split it in that fashion plus dou p dou x equals 0 is that fine and indeed these two terms do correspond to u times conservation of mass u times conservation of mass right fine so that term will be 0 so this gives me rho dou u dou t rho u dou u dou x dou p dou x so they are only terms that have that have only the 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 uh, parameters that we want there is a dou u dou t there is a dou u dou x and a dou p dou x okay so I am going to take this over I will divide through by rho right divide through by rho when I transfer it you make sure I do not make any mistakes so I have a dou u dou t plus u dou u dou x plus 1 by rho dou p dou x equals 0 is that fine right thank you so let us get back to the energy equation now so maybe I will erase this let us get back, back get back to the energy equation now so I have dou rho e t dou t plus dou by dou x of rho e t plus p times u equals 0 so this becomes rho dou e t dou t plus e t times dou rho dou t right now we suspect we can play the same game we play the same game right because there is a rho u in here there is a rho u in here right so that becomes plus uh, et times dou rho u dou x plus rho u times dou et dou x plus dou by dou x of you want dou p dou x times u plus p times dou u dou x let us see expression it is equal to 0 and again we have a simplification due to conservation of mass this is E t times conservation of mass right left hand side of conservation of mass and therefore it equals 0 is there anything else we can do it looks like we have no choice we have to expand that et right we have to expand that et what was et i had that somewhere here what was et so there is a 1 over row but et is here right et so uh, rho dou by dou t of E t was p by rho times gamma minus 1 plus 1 half u squared plus rho u dou by dou x of p by rho times gamma minus 1 
plus u squared by 2 plus u dp dx plus p du dx equals 0. We will try before we see the, the p looks a little complicated expression we will get to that we will try to get rid of the because we have done conservation of mass let us see if momentum equation helps us out here I have a u u do u do I will get a u do u do t from here right and I will get a rho u do u do x from here does that make sense okay. So there will be a rho u do u do t from there and a rho u do u do x from here right and we will see from the momentum equation whether, whether something can be knocked out so there is a there is a hope that we will we, we'll, we'll follow that path so I leave the first term untouched for now so I get dou by dou t of p rho gamma minus 1 that is the first term the second term is rho u do u do t then this term gives me a plus rho u dou by dou x p by rho times gamma minus 1 plus rho u rho u squared dou u dou x plus I can add that anywhere plus u dou p dou x plus p dou u dou x and this sum of all of these equals 0 is that fine can we look at momentum equation and see what we have I have a dou u dou t plus a dou u dou x right so rho u rho u dou u dou t rho u square dou u dou x and that is I can substitute by minus 1 over rho dou p dou x okay. So these two terms these two terms I can replace by minus 1 over rho dou p dou x pardon me into into rho into rho u into rho u minus uh, minus u dou p dou x oh there is a u dou p dou x here that will go away okay that also goes away fine get rid of this stuff what do we have what are the terms that we are left with we will just collect them before we simplify it further rho dou by dou t of t by rho gamma minus 1 plus rho u dou by dou x p by rho gamma minus 1 plus p dou u dou x equals 0 okay just make sure I have not made any silly mistakes that is fine that looks fine. So we expanded out it does not look like we can do anything we will have to face it right. So this is rho if I I take dou p dou t so this comes out so I get a 1 over gamma minus 1 dou p dou t because the rows will cancel minus if I differentiate this I get a 1 over rho squared but the rho will right one rho will cancel so I get a p by rho gamma minus 1 dou rho dou t is that fine the derivative of 1 over rho the derivative of 1 over rho is minus 1 over rho squared dou rho dou t but one of the rows will cancel the one in the numerator okay fine fortunately these are the same so you just replace the t's with the x's so it is not too bad so it is not as bad as so this gives me a u by gamma minus 1 is that right u by gamma minus 1 
dou p dou x plus minus thank you minus p u Uh, draw gamma minus 1, do u do x, do rho do x plus p do u do x equals 0. Hmm. I have a do rho do t here, do rho do t here. I have so if I take out uh, maybe I should have left this as so there is a rho u somewhere here right. Let us come back to conservation of mass a u do rho do x u do rho do x do rho do t do rho do t u do rho do x is that fine do rho do t u do rho do x. So I see a do rho do t and I see a u do rho do x and they are both multiplied by p divided by rho times gamma minus 1. So these terms can be combined they have a minus sign they both have a minus sign in front which means I am taking them over to this side that leave me a rho do u do x a plus rho do u do x. So these terms can be replaced by from conservation of mass rho do u do x okay. I will multiply through by gamma minus 1. So I get a dou p dou t plus rho times gamma minus 1 dou u dou x plus oops. Yes, what do you get here? You get a p by gamma minus 1. Is that right? Okay. p by gamma minus 1. So if I multiply p times do u do x, but I have another p times do u do x here. A gamma minus 1. Let me let me not let me I am not going to jump this. I am skipping a step, I will make a mistake. 1 by gamma minus 1 dou p dou t okay plus p by gamma minus 1 dou u dou x plus u by gamma minus 1 dou p dou x plus p dou u dou x equals 0. So if I add this to that I will get a gamma divided by gamma minus 1 okay. So I will multiply through by gamma minus 1. Now I will skip the step, right. So I get dou p dou t plus gamma p dou u dou x plus u dou p dou x equals 0. Is that fine, everyone? Well, we will find out. If I made a mistake, we are going to find out. Dou p dou t plus gamma p do u do x do gamma p do u do x plus u do p do x equals 0. How is that? So if this is q tilde I have rho u p I can write this as a, a matrix rho u p and I have do u do x see I have rho u p right I have a do rho do x I can actually rearrange these terms I can rearrange these terms and write it in a matrix form. So we let us see what we have here as a matrix form what do we have so q tilde is rho u p 
So the first term obviously is do by do t of rho u p plus can you tell me what the rest of it is is there a do rho do x here u do rho do x plus a rho do u do x there is no do p do x term there plus a 0 do p do x I am writing a matrix now the second one is there a do rho do x no do rho do x no 0 do rho do x u do u do x 1 by rho do p do x the last one there is no do rho do x 0 do rho do x gamma p do u do x plus u do p do x into do by do x of rho u p equals 0 fine. So I am now able to write this as do q tilde do t plus I will identify this matrix as a tilde identify it on the top as a tilde a different non conservative form right in this case the variables are not the variables we got in the conservation equations as densities okay so these are we will call you can call them non conservative variables if you want right as opposed to those variables which are conservative variables so you have another different conservative form right expressions are easier simpler so clearly we are sort of going in the right direction but this is a pain I mean if I have to sit down now right the next one the next one I can try is instead of rho u p try out rho u t how do I know you see if you are going to do this trying to hit the thing blindly how do I know I am going to get there right how many variables can I try and I may not even chance upon it by you know I may not even chance upon it I may not just we tried once we did not luck out we tried rho u p and we still got a system of equations that is coupled right okay so we have to obviously get a more systematic way by which we do this so the question that we ask ourselves is how did I go from q to q tilde can I is it possible for me to transform from q to q tilde is it possible for me to transform from q to q tilde okay am I making sense if I have the equation in if I do that if I figure out how, how that happens how these two equations are related if it is possible for me to do something to this then I am set okay. So what is the relationship between these two so I have two sets of variables I can get a I can write these in terms of q1 q2 q3 I can write q tilde 1 q tilde 2 q tilde 3 in terms of q1 q2 q3 therefore I can write dq tilde is or dq whichever way yes I do not know which way which way do you want to do which way do we want to do it so if I want to transform from here to there I possibly want it in terms of q tilde dq tilde is some p times dq this is like classic def definition of a derivative right it is a linear transformation there is a direction remember what I said earlier right this is a this is a vector right this is a linear transformation so we do not know that it is a derivative I am writing it out as a derivative right we do not know that it is an exact differential okay but I am right I can write out this relationship what is p that is in index notation this could say dq tilde i is p i j dq dqj you understand the matrix components component wise that is how it would be written dq tilde component wise that is what you would write right or we are basically saying that pij is dq do q or do q tilde i by do q tilde do q j yeah if I have this so there are different ways to look at this one way to look at it as I said is you are looking at a you are looking at it as a uh, derivative 
the other way to look at it is that this p transforms dq to the dq tilde coordinates the dq variables get transformed to the dq tilde coordinates okay that is another way to look at it. If we pre multiply this equation by p if I pre multiply this equation by p we will do it here. So if I pre multiply this equation by p it should transform right it should transform from the q coordinates to the q tilde coordinates is that fine okay. Another way to look at it is that I am basically just using chain rule there are different ways by which you can look at this and if you look what if you look at what this is right this is d, d q tilde if you look at this equation just I, I want to make sure that there is no confusion here d q j right and what is the equation itself because I have already used I I use k so you can do dou q j dou t plus a i a j k dou q k dou x equals 0 you can look at it as you just using chain rule am I making sense there are different ways by which you can look at this. So what will this give me dou q tilde dou t plus what do we do here p a p inverse p dou q tilde oops dou q dou x equals 0 this of course gives me dou q tilde dou x. So this should be dou q tilde dou t plus a dou a tilde dou q tilde dou x equals 0 a tilde is p a p inverse is that fine everyone okay. Now if you have not seen this before I would suggest that you just go take a quick look at uh, matrix algebra this is a similarity transformation right. And what does the similarity transformation give us? What does it tell us? What is the point of similarity transformations? The eigenvalues are the same, the eigenvalues are the same, and if you are lucky, in this case we are lucky, right? In this case, we are lucky, we have distinct eigenvalues, they are real, I mean there are a lot of nice properties. So we can actually find some matrix, we can actually find some matrix, some transformation which will diagonalize the matrix A. What I am saying is yes there is a matrix X there is a matrix capital X so that X A X inverse or X inverse A X depending on which way we have written it is a diagonal matrix lambda you understand we are basically going to let me just uh, whether we call it a inverse or A is something to our I mean X inverse or X is something to so your usual eigenvalue problem is AX equals lambda X I usually prefer to write it as X lambda because otherwise when you make the make, make it a vector you run it you can run into trouble. So if this is a 3 by 3 system right and you have a full set of eigenvalues so then you have 3 of these K equals 1 K equals 2 K equals 3 so I can put those in column matrix so I get a x x corresponds to that column matrix x corresponds to that column matrix equals x lambda this is a matrix lambda is a diagonal matrix right the matrices lambda x and x lambda are not the same you have to be very careful that is why I say I somehow do not I prefer to say instead of a x equals lambda x when we are talking about lambda scalar one eigenvalue I really prefer this is lambda k I really prefer to say a x equals x lambda because when you write it as a matrix that is how you would write it okay. So if I were to multiply through by x inverse a 
right which equals lambda so such a transformation exists you can actually you can actually make it you can actually diagonalize is that fine such a transformation exists you can actually diagonalize fine right now as it turns out we can either use a to find the eigen values and eigen vectors or we can use a tilde to find eigen values and eigen vectors so now i'll use some prior knowledge that i have that using a to find the eigen values and eigen vectors is a pain it's difficult so i'll use a tilde is that fine okay as i said i'm already i erased my a tilde so tell me what my a tilde is what is a tilde u rows u rows 0 0 u 1 by rho 0 gamma p u what it is okay so i'll cheat i'll do that well that's that so we want the determinant of u minus lambda rho 0 0 u minus lambda 1 by rho 0 gamma p u minus lambda i want the determinant of that that's relatively easy that gives me what is the characteristic equation what is the characteristic equation u minus lambda into u minus lambda square minus gamma p by rho equals 0 and here a little gas dynamics what is gamma p by rho that's the square of the acoustic speed so that is a square that is a square so you get u minus lambda into u minus lambda square minus a square equals 0 so lambda equals u is one solution and the other two solutions are lambda equals u minus a and lambda equals u plus a is that fine it's a bit of a strain we have they've been going we've been going through a little intense uh, derivation here so we are almost there right we are almost there fine we are almost there so it looks like if we find so i i what i'll do is right now i'm not going to you can try to find make sure that you're able to find the eigen vectors i want you to try to do two things right find the corresponding eigen vectors uh, do it for a tilde first and then try it out for a what do you think do you think the a tilde eigen vectors for a tilde and eigen vectors for a will be the same do you think they'll be the same actually we have performed see this doing the similarity transformation is like doing a coordinate you are doing a coordinate transformation right you are performing some kind of a rotation doing a coordinate transformation so it's unlikely that it's unlikely that the eigen vectors will be the same try it out i would suggest that you start with a, the a tilde one first because that matrix looks easy right and everything was easy with respect to it so try out the a tilde one first right and then see if you can find the eigen vectors for a what we know as a consequence is that i have if i have the matrix x so then i can say that i can find the dq caret i can find the dq caret which is a x times dq right x times dq so now you have to decide whether you are going to put them as columns or rows 
right otherwise so it otherwise it has to be x inverse so you can decide which way which one is going to whether it is going to be row vectors or column vectors right okay so dq caret is x times dq fine okay and then you can do the transformation you can do the transformation so of course I am not saying anything about dq caret right now about q caret this locally this differential this relates right in that tangent plane that is why I said think of it as a derivative locally in that tangent plane it relates dq to dq caret right in order to find q caret I have to be able to integrate I have an envelope of tangents I have to be able to integrate I have to find that envelope I have a whole bunch of tangents the issue is can I find an envelope that is what the integral is okay so if you think about your go back to your calculus and think about it so whether I can integrate this or not is a different issue to find q hat there may be circumstances under which I can actually find this q caret or q hat right think of it as a you have seen this kind of a thing before you have seen this kind of a thing before dq hat this is a small aside I did not I did not want to get into this dq hat 1 by uh, I will say I, I write it as dq dq indicating this is a gradient with respect to q and this is the first eigenvector x1 you have seen something like this before the gradient of a scalar is a vector the gradient of a scalar a scalar field is a vector field when can this be integrated when can you find when can you find the q1 hat when the curl of the vector field is 0 this so is like a velocity potential or something it is like a potential the q1 hat exists if it is integrable there is an issue of integral whether that whether that whether that all those bunch of tangents they have to have a certain property that they have to be able to get that envelope so that requires that the curl of x1 so the curl of this has to be 0 in order to be able to find q we do not know in this case actually it turns out in a special case it turns out we can actually do it okay so if I pre multiply by that x or x inverse or whatever I call it if I call it x as I said x or x inverse is matter of what we make it get rid of that this will result in an equation dou q caret about dou t plus the diagonal matrix dou q caret dou x equals 0 okay or in component form dou q i caret dou t plus lambda i dou q i caret dou x equals 0 right and there is no sum over i there is no summation over i okay so that we won't get carried away too much with index notation no sum over i fine so there you have it they are decoupled we have three as promise uh, not linear because if you have a u I mean how there is only so much we can deliver right <laughs> right so the lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are u u plus c or u minus u plus a u minus a okay so what are the three propagation speeds u u plus a u minus a so you will find what are q1 hat q2 hat q1 hat q2 hat q3 hat you will find the q1 hat q2 hat q3 hat corresponding to these three eigenvalues right to figure out what is it that is being propagated what is being propagated something is being propagated at the speed u from your gas dynamics you may already be aware right that is a contact surface you go back look at it and u plus a u minus a very clearly acoustic speeds right so if it is stationary there is no motion u is 0 and there is a disturbance it is going to propagate in two directions plus a and minus a right at the speed of sound on the other hand if there is an underlying motion in a certain direction then whatever you have is propagating at, at u the medium is propagating at u 
you have a u plus a and a u minus a is that clear fine so we have sort of actually picked up we have actually picked up uh, at least we feel right now from our gas dynamics background right we have picked up the necessary necessary physics what we need to do is we will have to ask the question can I apply FTCS to this can I apply some scheme to this and see if we cannot get a solution is that fine okay so I will see you guys next class.